The subject of the painting is a Tibetan religious teacher named Norchen Kungazongpo. He lived in the uh, sort of the middle period of the 15th century. He's famous for starting, a, beginning a sub-school of the Sakya tradition, a sub-school called uh, Ngor, based at uh, uh, Ngor Monastery in Song Province. Now, what's interesting about this painting is it's a relatively large format. So it's a fairly large painting, several feet uh, by several feet uh, in size. It has uh, the very dominant central figure of Norchen. Uh, now, what is unusual here is his head is turned slightly to his right side. And this is sometimes sometimes indicates that the painting belongs to a set, but we're not convinced here with this uh, composition that it belongs to a painting set. It may very well just be a one-off. Now, at the top center, we, we have uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, and then to the right and left, we actually have a lineage. We have the lineage of the early Sakya teachers, uh, beginning on the far left with Vajradhara, followed by Virupa, Sachinkung Ningpo Sonam Semo, then jumping over Shakyamuni Buddha at the center, then we have Trakpa Gyaltsen, Sakya Pandita, and then Chogyal Pagpa. At the very end of the register, we have a, a wrathful Vajrapani figure possibly put in by the artist just as a balance to the Vajradhara at the far left, then we have a blue Vajrapani at the far right. Uh, slightly below the top register are the two uh, Anuttara um, Tantric deities, Chakrasambhara and Hevajra. And then descending on the right and left, we have four figures which are unidentified at this time, and they appear to be either teachers or students of Norchen. Uh, himself. It's interesting to note that uh, two of them have yellow hats and two of them have red hats. And no, this is not um, related to the Gilug tradition. This is probably more related to just the custom at the time. The yellow hat, uh, Pandita hat, really was more commonly found with uh, Shalu Monastery and other monasteries in the Tsang region at that time, and this is actually where the Gilugpa tradition uh, acquired the, the pointed yellow Pandita hat. Um, moving lower down on the right and left sides, we find on the, on the left a, a form of the Bodhisattva Maitreya, and then Equally on the right side, we have uh, Orange Manjushri. On the left, we have Arya Lokeshvara with four arms. On the right, we have the long life deity Ushnisha Vijaya. And then below that, on the left, we have Green Tara. On the right, we have green or bluish green Vajra Vidarana. At the very bottom left, we have a small figure of uh, Mahakala and then uh, with a much smaller figure of the female Sri Devi uh, next to him. Sort of in the center at the bottom of the composition, we have a donor figure, and then we have an elaborate shrine uh, that's laid out in front of him. And then on the far right side at the bottom, we have uh, a yellow Jambala, which is a wealth deity. So this, this overall composition is a very typical for, for Tibetan paintings with uh, lineage teachers at the top, important deities or more important tantric deities at the top, other deities below in a descending order of importance such as long life, activity, purification, and then wealth, and then protection as we see with this painting. Now, the style of this is really uh, uh, a Gyantse. It's an overall Gyantse monastery style, and this was very dominant in the Tsang province in the 15th and early 16th century. So it's a little bit difficult to date this painting. Possibly we can say late 15th or very early 16th, it's possible. Uh, with more research, I'm sure that a, a tighter date can be uh, ascertained. So just an introduction to uh, one of the uh, earlier and better paintings of Norchen Kungazongpo. 
So don't forget, press the like button. You can also subscribe, you can uh, share, and you can join Har on Patreon if you want to help support the work that we do.